Hi students, this is Pavan. I will be teaching you EVS. Students, this video is especially for 5th standard students. Students, before getting into the concept, I would like to ask you some questions on the image displayed on the screen. Yes students, what can you observe on the screen? You can observe a beautiful scene, a scenery. And you can see the beautiful scene in the sky. The sun is rising and the flowers are blooming. Beautiful clouds are there in the sky. And you can understand here the scene is very beautiful. Students, I would like to ask you some questions related to this image. Students, where are the butterflies flying? The butterflies are flying in the air. That's good. Can you see a colorful part of this image? Yes. What's that? Flowers. Nice. Students, the flowers are very beautiful and very colorful. And how the flowers are blooming like that? The flowers are blooming like this as we are taking care about the plant. How do you take care of the plant? You take care of the plant by watering them. Students, this video is about air and water. Students, this video is about what? Air and water. This video is for class 5 students and the lesson is from semester 2 book chapter 1 air and water. Students, your learning objectives in this chapter are air, atmosphere, composition of air, properties of air, air and its uses, air pollution, removing impurities from water, purification of water. Students, these are the subconcepts of this chapter. Okay students, now let us get into the concept. Students, I will be reading the text displayed on the screen and I will explain you. Air and water both are essential for us. Yes, students, the essential things for a life on the earth are air and water. You don't forget them. Air and water are essential things for us on the earth. Life on the earth is possible due to the presence of air and water in it. Yes or no? Life is possible on earth because what due to the presence of air on the earth air is an invisible mixture of gases made up of a teeming mass of millions of tiny gas molecules that move around randomly at the highest speed students air is an invisible mixture of gases air is not with a single substance. It's a mixture of substances present, mixture of gases present in it, students. And the millions of tiny gas particles that move around randomly at the highest speed in the air. That means the air is the mixture of different minute tiny molecules and they keep on moving randomly at a highest speed. Okay, students. And if air is absent on earth, the earth would be a lifeless planet. Do you agree with this, students? If air is absent on earth, how would be the earth? The earth would be a lifeless planet. Students, let us talk about air. 
the earth has surrounded us from all sides yes air is everywhere even in an empty box in the cracks of rocks and also in water we cannot smell the air it's odorless we can only feel it air helps us in various ways we need to breathe filling in the balloon flying parachute flying the kite aeroplanes are also fly in the air students can you understand this paragraph the air has surrounded us from all sides you know air is everywhere on the earth air is everywhere even in an empty box yes of course in the cracks of rocks and also in water yes or no yes air is present even in the water also air is present in the empty box also and students we cannot smell the air it's odorless odorless means it's smellless we cannot smell we can only feel it yes we can only feel it we cannot see it we cannot see with our naked eye we can just experience with our feelings okay air helps us in various ways what are those ways we need to breathe filling in the balloon flying parachute flying the kite so students these are all the uses that we have in our day to day life with the air aeroplanes also fly in the air you know students yes students how butterflies were flying there same like that aeroplanes also fly in the air see the following picture and mention the different uses of air students you can see the following picture and mention the different uses of air in your notebook students next atmosphere let us talk about atmosphere the blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere note down the students students the blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere okay atmosphere is a mixture of gases in several layers it extends from the earth surface to about 800 kilometers above the earth students atmosphere is a mixture of gases in several layers you know there are different layers present in the atmosphere that we have to understand it extends from the earth surface to how many kilometers above the earth about 800 kilometers above the earth okay students and then what are the layers of earth let us understand first layer is troposphere what is troposphere it's the layer of atmosphere closest to the earth's surface it contains water and gases mostly oxygen and nitrogen weather changes in atmosphere the conditions in this layer change very quickly yes students troposphere is nothing but it's a layer of atmosphere closest to the earth's surface it contains water and gases in it and then mostly oxygen and nitrogen present in troposphere weather changes in atmosphere in this troposphere okay the conditions in this layer change very quickly with the small changes of atmosphere next students stratosphere what about stratosphere it lies above the atmosphere and it is about 30 kilometers away okay above the atmosphere how long it is it's 30 kilometers away it's 30 kilometers away from the atmosphere the clear cloudless layer the upper part of the stratosphere is 
the ozone layer you know students what is ozone layer it's like a huge shield that blocks most of the sun most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays you know ultraviolet rays are very dangerous rays we should not get exposed to ultraviolet rays you know if we are exposed to ultraviolet rays then we get skin problems and other health issues you know students so that we should not we should not get exposed to ultraviolet rays so to protect us from exposing ultraviolet rays there is what a huge shield that blocks you know the most of the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays what is that ozone layer okay that's nice next ionosphere what is ionosphere what is ionosphere it's the thickest of all other layers present in the atmosphere ionosphere has electrically charged particles electrically charged particles are present in which layer of the atmosphere ionosphere okay right next layer of the atmosphere is exosphere exosphere is it's the outermost layer of the atmosphere containing very little air there students the different layers are with some air but in exosphere the air is very little okay that we have to remember so how many layers are there in the atmosphere students troposphere stratosphere ionosphere exosphere students you remember the layers of atmosphere okay and next let us study about composition of air what is the composition of air i already said right air is not only air it's the combination or composition of different other particles that may be with dust particles that may be with uh, other gas particles that may be with different other particles present in the air and the particles always keep on moving randomly with highest speed okay students i read the text you can follow with me air air is a mixture of many gases it contains nitrogen oxygen and some other gases other gases like you know carbon dioxide hydrogen argon methane in very small amounts water vapor smoke and dust also present in the air the percentage of dust particles more than water vapor that may vary from place to place okay students the percentage of dust particles more than the water vapor that may vary from place to place and also let us talk about nitrogen as a component of the air the presence of nitrogen is 78 percent living beings cannot use it directly from the air it's used by plants with the help of bacteria in the soil it is used by plants what with the help of bacteria in the soil so living beings cannot use it directly from the air how but how the living things can use but how can the living beings use nitrogen it is used by plants with the help of bacteria in the soil and its presence in the atmosphere checks the process of burning under control now let us talk about oxygen the presence of oxygen is 21 percent plants and animals need it for respiration students do you know what is the main life supporting component of air oxygen students without oxygen we cannot live and other animals also cannot live you know how much percentage of oxygen is present in the air 21 percent and oxygen is very essential component of air for plants and animals that you remember next it also helps in combustion 
oxygen also helps in what combustion means burning if something is burning means that is that's burning due to oxygen due to presence of what oxygen so let us talk about the presence of other gases in the air what are those other gases argon carbon dioxide hydrogen methane and water vapor students these are the other gases present in the air but they are present in very small quantities okay okay right next what is humidity students the amount of water vapor present in the air is called humidity students the amount of water vapor in some areas the amount of water vapor is less and in some areas the water vapor is more the amount of water vapor present in the air that varies from place to place that is not constant and that is different from place to place okay the humidity is high when the amount of water vapor is more in the air uh, you can say that you know humidity is high when the amount of water vapor is more in the air see students if the amount of water vapor is more in the air there obviously we can say the humidity is more okay and then in humid air the perspiration from our body surface does not evaporate quickly we feel uncomfortable you understood this point students if the humidity is more in the place that you are there what happens the perspiration from our body perspiration means sweat that we get that's a process of excretion from the skin students if there is more humid in humid air the perspiration perspiration in the means the sweat from our body surface does not evaporate quickly we feel very uncomfortable students where where the humidity is more okay if the air is with more humidity in the place where you are living you feel very discomfortable there because perspiration from our body surface does not evaporate we can feel humidity before and after the rain as well students this is very common experience before and after rain we feel very humidity see students in rainy season you please try to observe this before and after you feel very uncomfortable perspiration from your body surface does not evaporate quickly you please observe it when before and after it rains okay students so students what are the points that we talked about air atmosphere composition of air okay we talked about these three properties and in the next class we will talk about properties of air okay students this is for this video thank you for listening thank you one and all